So it looks like Haiti's in trouble. We've seen this in the news all over the place. It, the governments in chaos. People are no doubt going to be leaving, trying to leave Haiti, and probably more than likely uh, in their attempt to flee Haiti and all of what's going on there, more than likely heading towards Florida. So cue the blame game, folks. And Tim Burchett is taking the lead on throwing the blame on the Republicans and um, and saying that, that really DeSantis can't do a darn thing about it. And I just want you to hear this, folks. Have a listen. Couldn't Governor DeSantis uh, put the absolute nicks on this and say, no, they're not coming in. I will line our beaches and there will be no illegals coming into our state? Well, here's what, what you got to do is you've got to stop them in the international waters. And the president knows that because once they get into a certain perimeter that, you know, they're going to show some poor kid drowning, which is horrible, or some 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 uh, Haitians that are unable to swim or what have you, and they're going to have to rescue them. And then what do you do with them then? Can you send them back? Do, Florida doesn't have those capabilities. And Oh, hold it. Florida doesn't have the capabilities to send immigrants back. What about the planes, trains, and automobiles that DeSantis was sending people to Martha's Vineyard? He was sending them to New York. He was busing them all over the place to Illinois and, and other states, Colorado. What do you mean to tell me? He doesn't have the power to send them back. That's, that's what he's been doing. He's been helping Texas send them back and creating chaos all over the place for the TV to run. And then, of course, Republicans denied working with uh, President Biden on the bipartisan immigration bill, which would have ended this a lot sooner than the hope that Trump gets elected. But I don't buy that, Tim Burchett. Florida is in a trap, really. I think another question that needs to be asked that nobody's asking, the Clinton Foundation, what happened to all those billions of dollars that they invested in, in Haiti? Here we and, go. Um, oh, I, I, you know, there's a lot of... A lot of culprits in all this, and we've we continuously back the wrong people, and um, we get into business that's not that is not our business. You know what the problem is? Republicans in general sit on their hands, and then they point fingers at everybody else when the time is right, and saying, "Look what you've done! You've created a mess." No, I mean that's not how it works. They don't do diddly squat. They sit on their hands and then just make fun of everybody else for trying to help somebody. And you didn't hear anything about assistance, did you, in what he said? He didn't even intonate that we should be doing something to help the Haitians. What can we do to help them so that they don't leave? I mean, that's that's kind of the common sense way to think about this, right? Let's. What can we do today to make the environment such that they don't want to leave? But Republicans don't think that way. They sit on their hands, and there's nothing that they can do. And I've just got to show you this, folks, so take a look. He's talking about the Clinton Foundation, and which has been around since 2001. Uh, the charity statement to the BBC is that President Clinton and the Clinton's Foundation only goal in Haiti is to help the people of Haiti, and it goes into what they've done. Uh, you know, by any stretch, good things. <laughs> it's more than I've seen, you know, Republicans do, for God's sakes. And, you know, there's been criticism, you know, people haven't been paid for the land that this industrial complex in Haiti was built on, which they have been up to this point. Now, 20 people have been paid back for the land and Charity Watch uh, is giving an A rating to the Clinton organization. So, I mean, there's something not quite right about these people. All they do is sit around and make, you know, points and try to, to say something is you know, gone off the rails and it's terrible what's what's happened, but yet they do nothing themselves. And when he said, actually, you heard him say, somebody needs to look into doing something about the Clinton organization. Well, they did. The Trump Justice Department kept the Clinton Foundation case open until the last days of the Trump presidency. So you had your chance to dig in and, and find something there. And you, you sat on it for, for years until Trump was leaving, and then the DOJ closed it, because there's nothing there. There's nothing there. So they've had their chance, folks, to look into it. The Trump DOJ had their chance, and they couldn't find anything wrong with what the Clintons were doing. And then I have to show you this, too. When they do try to do something for a charity, 
like Donald Trump, they end up buying a painting for themselves using charity money. Remember this? This is going back to February 27th of 2019. Michael Cohen has claimed Donald Trump directed him to find someone to purchase a portrait of himself at a high society art auction. Once the stooge had bought the painting, he was paid $60,000 with money from the Trump Foundation, a charitable organization. So when they do have the opportunity to do something to help somebody else, they help themselves. Yeah. I don't get it. But that's... Think about that, Representative Burchett. You know, just sit back and think that over. Till next time, folks.